Hello everyone, my name is Julian Camarena. And I'm Adrian Camarena. And we are here joined by a friend, a very special guest, Tony Amendola. And he has been in a number of TV series from Seinfeld, Charm, Continuum, and Once Upon a Time, Mask of Zorro, Annabelle, and he's gonna be in an upcoming film, The Curse of La Llorona. And yeah, we're happy to have you here today. Thank you, it's lovely. How you doing? You know, I'm doing pretty well. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, Friday yeah, it is beautiful afternoon. Out here. Isn't it just winter in Los Angeles, you know? I grew up back east, so, you know. You're originally from Connecticut, I'm right? from Connecticut, New Haven. So if I get one day of snow a year, I'm done. I'm really happy. I really, really love it. So when did you first move to Los Angeles? You know, I, uh, I moved really to Los Angeles in the late 80s, early 90s. I, I worked for about 15 years. Uh, in theater. You started out in, in the theater world and yeah. transitioned into... Yeah. into not not musicals. musicals. I, I've done a couple of musicals, but... Oh, you, you know, know how to sing? Yeah, I can, <laughs> but not really. You know, I wouldn't... Uh, not like, you know, yourself. But, uh, you know, it, it, you know whatever is necessary. I can carry a tune and that type of thing, but I'm not a, by any means a singer. I can cheat it, though. <laughs> you know, for short periods of time. I, you I can lip-sync, right? Yeah? You can lip-sync, I can lip-sync, yeah. too. Was the sort of the transfer from theater to TV and film, was that pretty difficult, or was it...? You know, it wasn't that difficult for me because I think I was never like a flamboyant theater actor in the kind of way, you know, there are some people that wear that with a big T, you know? Yeah, over I the don't, top, kind of, yeah. yeah I, They're all out I, I there. Was never, <laughs> I was never like that. I mean, if a character demanded that, then I was happy to go there. Yeah. But my, my natural inclination is a little quieter. And so uh, a lot of the directors I had worked with in the theater thought, oh, you should really go to LA. You know, which is a way of saying maybe, you know, maybe you're not theatrical <laughs> to do this. I have to ask this, I'm sure you've been asked this before. Is there a specific character that you just really enjoyed playing or that you might've gotten attached to? Yeah, I, you know, I, I love, the Dexter character uh, yeah, in a kind of way. It. I love that yeah, character too. It was so, so interesting. It was so intense, yeah. that shoot. That whole show is oh, yeah. intense. It was, it was really, really intense. It's interesting because, you know, because I travel, sometimes I run into people and it's always interesting the different types of people you meet who are fans of different shows. But you can generally tell, oh, this is a once upon a time person. Oh, this is a Stargate person. Or oh, but but it's the Dexter people that are <laughs> I don't know where to go there. <laughs> I, think. I think the very first film that I remember you from is uh is the The Mask of Zorro. Yeah. 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 That's one of the yeah. very first films. I, yeah. I absolutely love that. No, that was you know, that's that's like uh, a sort of old school experience because it was a studio film. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's dress up. Yeah. You know, you're in these really elegant uh, uh, clothes and horses, and uh, it was really, really fun. One of the actors I remember seeing when I was a young man was I saw Anthony Hopkins on stage in uh, uh, Equus. And I ran into him afterwards in a coffee shop, just briefly, and, and you know, I, I'm sort of, you know, but I said, oh, I just love performance, and I just turned around and went to leave, and he said, well, wait, wait. and he says, well, you know, and he just gave me like two minutes of his time. What do you do? Well, no, I'm a student, I'm an actor. No, oh, where, where do you go to school? Where do you study? That would have been in maybe 78, something like that, or 76, something. And then you cut to 20 years later and you're in a film with him. Yeah. You know, and it was so That's sort of amazing. marvelous, you know, not even to mention Antonio Banderas and uh, Catherine uh, Zeta Jones. It's one of the reasons I, I didn't come to LA until I was 40 is I was aware early on that I wasn't selling beauty. <laughs> you know, that it wasn't, you know, that if anything, I was going to grow in to the roles I'd be playing, as opposed to, you know, if I You're going to become beautiful. I was going to become beautiful, <laughs> or even more so, employable. More <laughs> yeah. employable. It's funny because uh, I was thinking, you know, I would love to have Tony on the show, and then all of a sudden, the, the commercial, oh, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl commercial. Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. yeah. There's Tony. Some yeah. <laughs> Did you see the first one? I, yeah, I believe it. The first yeah, one yeah, where he, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those are fun. On, you're on the TV series, obviously, Once Upon a Time. Yeah. You play uh, you play Geppetto, Geppetto. Geppetto's father. Do you do you remember, obviously, did you read the book or did you watch, yeah. the, watch the, the movie growing up? Yeah, I love that uh, story. You know, in many ways, it's, it's 19th century story. It's not part of the Grimm's fairy tale. It's a pertinent sort of story in a kind of way because it's like life lessons. For a lot of young actors and actresses that they, you know, they aspire to come here to Hollywood, they aspire to get into the film, what would be some advice that you would give anyone trying to, you know, sort of starting out? I would yeah. tell them to find a good class. I would tell them 
to make good use of their downtime, find a community. I would tell them if to try to do a play, just so you understand, because you have an opportunity in this profession to have a direct lineage that goes back 2,500 years. Just so you know what the chemical feeling like is to step in front of an audience, a live audience, and to be responsible for a piece from the beginning to the end, for you to negotiate that music. That is so true. Like, like uh, I'm a stand-up. Like, you always get the feedback from, you know, from laughter. It must be the same way in kind of like plays and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. You're you constantly get getting that feedback. Right. And probably the biggest advice I would give is it's not a horse race. Yeah. That some people think, oh, you know, he or she is very successful now, and I'm the same age, and nothing's going on. There's, you know, it's just keep going. Not, yeah, you just keep going. Well, thank you so much for joining with us today. And yes, was, thank you so it was, much. It was fun talking with you and a great conversation. Great, it's lovely. It's great to be here. Thank you. Have you done an Instagram story? Never. Before? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, that's a. That's it. Adrian, can you sit right there so we can all kind of be in the shot? All right. So we are here with Tony Amendola. This is his right, first yeah. Instagram story. So we Very first one. Uh, we just finished. Hello. Our, <laughs> we, just, hi, we just finished our interview. How did everything go? Everything went fine. Great. I'm in good company. <laughs> good hands. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching The Camerana Show. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a single episode. 